Hey there, here we are once again for the Morning Mindset. I'm glad you're joining me. I am Kerry Green. I'm a retired pastor, but I'm not really retired because I'm teaching the Word of God day after day here on the Morning Mindset so that you and I can work together to keep our minds aligned with the truth of God. That's our goal. That's why we're here. In case you didn't know, the Morning Mindset is a listener-fueled project. And what I mean by that is we have supporters who come alongside us financially to help out so that I can actually have the time and actually grow the resources that the Morning Mindset is providing. You can find out more in the description for this episode. There's a link there. You can click it, find out all the details. All right, let's look at Proverbs chapter 16, verses 18 and 19. You'll notice I have named this episode, Pride Comes Before Disaster. Well, that's my paraphrase of the first verse we're going to look at here, verse 18. It says, Pride goes before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. Now, these words, uh, destruction and haughty spirit, are things that might bear some definition. Now, destruction could be any kind of negative consequence. So pride comes or goes before destruction. Pride is what leads up to it. It leads up to disaster, in other words. And a haughty spirit, that's another way of saying someone who's puffed up in their own eyes, someone who thinks more highly of themselves than they ought, which is pride. It comes before a fall. So what is being described to us here is the attitude and the demeanor that leads us into places of destruction or failure. Now, of course, not every failure comes from pride, but pride is a leading reason for failure and for destruction and for damage in our lives. Now, it may be good for us to kind of define what do we mean by pride when we say that? Because there are different kinds of pride, like the kind of pride you can have in your children. That's not necessarily a bad thing. It's good to be happy about the things you see going on in your children's lives that is good and is like the Lord and is growing in a spiritual sense. There's nothing wrong with that. But we've got to be careful that we're not guilty of a kind of pride that puffs us up, makes us feel like it's all to our credit that our children are that way. Do you see the difference? We've got to be giving credit where credit is due, which means acknowledging the good work God is doing in our lives and in the lives of those we are, quote unquote, proud of. What's being described here is very different from that. What's being described is this, I did it sort of a mentality. I can handle anything sort of a mindset. We've got to be careful as we go through life that we are not deceived into thinking we have arrived someplace or that we have the ability to handle the challenges of life all on our own. When we do, we are setting ourselves up for destruction and for a fall, a failure of some sort. Now, verse 19 says, it is better to be of a lowly spirit. So that's an idea of being humble with the poor than to divide the spoil with the proud. So what he's doing here is he's contrasting two different scenarios, a scenario of being in poverty and having actual needs, but having a lowly spirit, having a humble heart. And he's saying that is more valuable. That whole scenario is more to be desired than to divide the spoil, meaning having lots of uh, benefits from actions you've taken, lots of good, lots of means, lots of uh, money, perhaps. But to do so, along with someone who's proud. You see, what Solomon is doing here is he's contrasting two extreme situations to point out the importance of humility versus pride. So when we talk about pride coming before disaster, it's important in Solomon's mind, and I believe in God's mind, for us to understand the opposite of that and what it looks like. That is a humble spirit, a lowly spirit, one that is in utter dependence on God, one that does not take credit for the things he has done, but rather praises and acknowledges his role in our lives. Friends, as we look at our lives, there are many ways to apply this and many contexts in which we could apply it. In parenting, in the work we do uh, for our employer, in the successes we have in a business or in some sort of a relationship, in the harmony and blessing we experience in our families. We could take credit for all kinds of things, but the humble spirit, the lowly spirit, as Solomon calls it here, is one that turns to God in thanksgiving 
and does not allow itself to get puffed up, but remains humbly dependent on God, even in times of blessing. Jesus, craft in us a humble and lowly spirit that rightly recognizes your role of provision and strength and empowerment in our lives. Enable us to reject pride every time we see it and give us eyes to see it more clearly so that we can just outright reject it and move away from it toward dependence on you. It's that dependence that will fuel our success in life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.